Hello, incoming freshman class of 2024. Let me welcome you all to the St. Mary's family. I'm Juan Luna. I'm a computer engineer senior here. And today I'll be conducting the virtual tour for Dory Hall. Now, uh, everyone, please follow me. So in here, we have the entrance to the building. So there's two ways you can access the building. Um, if you have your St. Mary's ID card, you can use it in here. You can just pop it here and the door should automatically open for you. Uh, and the other way is if you have your room key, you can just open it here. There you go. All right, so, Welcome to Dory Hall. In here we have the main lobby. Uh, as you can see here, we have the front desk. This is where your friendly RA staff will receive you and will give you all the necessary instructions and help in any way so we can welcome you in the best possible way. In here we'll be handing you your room key and your mail key. Um, further instructions will be given in that uh, check-in day. Uh, here to my right, uh, we have the mailboxes. Here's where you can receive small packages and envelopes. For bigger packages, you can visit our mail office at the uh, Chedaway building. Now, I'm going to show you the rest of the building or the main lobby. Uh, one of the best features about this building is that we have a ping pong table. It's lots of fun. People love to use it. You can bring your own paddles or the RAs are more than welcome to provide you with paddles and balls. You don't have to worry about bringing your own. And as you can see for the rest of the room, uh, it's very communal. We have tables, we have chairs, we have very comfy uh, sofas. People like to come here to socialize with our students. They like to hang out. They also like to do group work. It's uh, also a great study space as you can also watch TV uh, students also use it to broadcast PowerPoint presentations or uh, just put in like a sport channel, watch the game or anything like that. It's a very friendly environment we have here. And now if you follow me, I'll show you the other spaces we have here for a group of students. Now here to my left, we have the study space. Um, in this one, it's more of a private study room. As you can see, it's made of glass. And if you come inside, you can see that we have a, a whiteboard that you can move around. And what's very cool about this room is that you can draw or write anywhere in the room. So you can draw on this table down here. You can draw on the whiteboard over here. And then you can also write on the windows. It's perfectly fine. Uh, you're more than welcome to bring your own erasers and markers, but we'll also be providing them for you. Um, if you have a group work, coming up for a class or you wanna or you're a person that likes to study in groups, um, broadcasting PowerPoints, we also have the option of this TV right here. Uh, students are more than welcome to plug in their laptops so they can start working in group work. Um, as you can see in here, we also have uh, plugins so you can connect your laptop or any electronic device. Uh, now if you follow me, I'll show you the other study space we have in this building. So you follow me up the stairs. All right, so this is one of my favorite rooms in all the building. It's definitely the most modern room of all the building. Uh, so you can see we have tons of furniture for students to study. Um, if you come to campus before, we have the comments, we have the library. But if you don't want to walk that far or you're planning on studying very late, uh, this room is always available for you if you live here. And it's a very kind of room, like if you are a person that needs silence, uh, this room is perfect for you. As you can see, we have private rooms that block off all the noise, uh, view from other persons, and you can have like, your own personal study space. And But also, if you want to study for group, as you can see from all around, we have tables, we have chairs, and we have multiple whiteboards you can use. And like always, We'll be more than happy to provide you with uh, markers and erasers. All right, now if you follow me, I'll be showing you the laundry room. All right, everyone, please follow me. Um, in here to my left, we have the laundry room. So in here, we have four units of washing machines and four dryer machines. Um, 
what's perfect about these machines is that you don't have to worry about paying to use it. It's completely free of use. As long as you're a resident here, you can use it anytime. It's 24 seven. All you have to bring is your own soap and detergent. And if you follow me back here, if you're planning for a late snack or you're just hungry out of nowhere, we are always uh, prepped with vending machines. You can buy your sodas, you can buy your drinks. And here to the right, you can buy any snacks. We usually have like cookies, chocolate, candy, even sandwiches. All right, now I'm gonna show you the rooms. Now everyone, please follow me. All right, so one of the things you have to know about Dory is that uh, this building has two wings, A wing and B wing. Uh, they're, both wings are identically the same thing and you will know which one you will be living in once we hand you your room key. Um, it has two floors, uh, first floor, second floor, and you have to use the stairs to access both floors. Um, for this tour, I'll be showing the first floor, and I'll be showing you one of the communal lounges we have here to the left, and then later on, I'll be showing you the actual bedrooms we will be living in. So what's cool, uh, cool about this is that every floor has like a corner, uh, very communal, and as you can see, we have tables, chairs, and other corners, you also have like sofas, every corner is different, it's very comfortable. Um, one of the best things about this building is that we really like to build communities. Uh, and that's why one of the communities that's being housed here is the political science one. Uh, it's often you see people like being out here talking with their neighbors, friends, or just students from other buildings, uh, not buildings, but like classes. Um, in Dory, the reason why it's one of the best like freshman experiences you're gonna get out there is because everyone in this campus is super friendly. Everyone in this building wants to be your friend. And I promise you by that, the end of the first week, you'll at least have a group of friends, a uh, group that's there to support you. It's a super great community. And now I'll be showing you the rooms. Hi everyone, so you'll be using your uh, room key to get into this door. As you can see, there's two locks. There's the top one and the bottom one. It's recommended you always lock your door. That way uh, no one has access to your stuff or no strangers are getting into your room. Now, let's see here. All right. Everyone, welcome to your rooms. All right, so as you can see around, uh, every room comes with two beds, uh, two mattresses. You have to bring your own uh, bed covers, pillows, and all that. Um, the other furniture we bring in the, that brings the room is that you have your own closet space. As you can see here, you have all your uh, all your hangers or you can put your shoes. You have a small storage container out there, and here. To this side, you have your own drawers. Um, you can talk to your roommate how you're gonna organize exactly how you're gonna share that space. And on top of that, we also have a uh, personal workspace, uh, study desk. As you can see, it brings a table. We have a lamp for you, and you have a top shelf where you can put your books, your pictures, whatever you wanna put in there. Uh, we also provide the uh, uh, chairs and as you can see here we have a fridge uh, we don't provide those but you're more than welcome to bring your own small fridge or medium-sized fridge uh, you can bring your own microwave uh, but you don't have to worry we'll also be providing those with you we have those in the communal spaces uh, you're also allowed to bring any small furniture if you want to bring any like medium-sized or large furniture please ask your RAs or uh, the people at the Rest Life office and we'll work with you to decide if that furniture is okay to bring in. Um, the, this room is also equipped with an AC unit up here. Uh, it's especially useful when it gets like really hot here, <laughs> especially with the Texas heat. Now, I wanna show you all uh, you have a window. Every room comes with a window. They are usually facing outside to campus. 
And now I'm going to show you the bathroom. All right, so inside here, uh, you will be sharing bathroom with your suite mate, uh, but you have your own personal, um, to wash your hands, uh, you have your own drawers, and in here you have shared drawers. And all right, here. Actually, so here you have a shower. As you can see, it's both um, it's a bathtub, so you can either use it as a, use it as a sink or the shower head. Uh, the water is great here, very hot. <laughs> uh, the pressure is perfect. And in, down here, uh, I just want to add a couple of things. Um, as I mentioned before, you're more than welcome to bring your own TV. Uh, we recommend you bring a smart TV. That way, you can connect to Spectrum U. And in doing so, you're able to access a billion of channels, uh, streaming services, and all that great stuff. Uh, on top of that, we also provide internet, so you'll have 24-7 connection through either Wi-Fi or LAN connection, so wired. Uh, but you are responsible for bringing your own wired cable for the Wi-Fi. And if you follow me, I'll show you where you can connect it. So this box right here. You can connect any electronic device and you'll be instantly connected to the Wi-Fi. I extremely recommend that for the TV. That way you have unter uninterrupted service or Wi-Fi is great once you connect it to the Ethernet port. Um, other questions uh, you might have is about, as you see here, you saw the bunk bed. Uh, don't worry if you don't want to use a bunk bed, that's perfectly fine. All you have to do is submit a work order and then we'll work with you so you can have like, your own separate rooms in the ground. And now you all may be wondering, I say the word work order and you may not know what that is. Well, that's very simple. So here in the door, we have instructions on what may happen if anything might go wrong. Um, so let's say a light bulb breaks, uh, the lights go out, um, you make a hole in the wall. <laughs> Uh, anything could happen, a flood, whatever. Um, don't worry, we got you covered. So all you have to do is go to this page right here, and in here we put in clear instructions on how, step by step, on how to solve the problem. So in here you'll see how to submit a work order, and once you submit a work order, uh, maintenance will take care of it, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that in here we also have our safety, fire safety instructions. So let's say in the case of a fire outbreak or anything like that, uh, we do have emergency procedures you must follow. And in here you have the outline of how you must uh, exit the building. All right. And now, thank you everyone for joining me at this virtual tour. It was my great, great pleasure guiding you through it. Uh, I really hope you're able to enter in this building and be able to relive the great experiences and friendships I've formed over the last three years. I definitely enjoyed my time here. By far one of the best years of my life and I will repeat it all over again. You'll, met, you'll meet some great people here, some great professors, and it will change your life for the better. Now, finally, I just want to remind you that if you haven't applied, the housing application is still open. Uh, if you're unsure of how to access it, you're more than welcome to access a uh, call or email Rest Life and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, everyone.